Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am Abby Broad, aka Smiling Soul, aka Abigail. It's come to the end of the 30 day challenge. We're gonna just talk a little bit about what this challenge has kind of taught me and what I'm planning to do going forward from this challenge. Um, so, so this challenge, um, my fiance Carl decided to he, he just said one day when we were on the train, you know, you should just upload video, a video every day for fake days. And so I was like, sure, why not? And that sounds like a great plan. Um, I didn't think about whether or not I, I was going to be busy that month, like what I would be doing, like if I had content to make. I just kind of wanted to experiment with my channel and see what kind of content I wanted to make. And to see where I wanted to go from here um, and to see what kind of stuff I wanted to be putting out there. So like about a couple of weeks in, I asked you guys um, what content you liked and I'll put another poll up here so you can let me know your final thoughts um, on what kind of content you would like. And the highest ones were story time, um, story time, vlogs and wedding updates. It's funny because wedding updates were like the least viewed videos that I, used, that I upload. And so I was like shocked with that. So um, yeah, people are interested in wedding updates, but they don't, maybe it's like a very niche thing. Um, so like a, a small group of you guys on here do like watching those. Those were the highest ones polled. Um, so, I mean, that's obviously not a reflection of my whole channel and everyone who watches. That's why I'm gonna put another poll so you can vote and let me know um, what you like. So I've been doing more story times, more vlogs, um, or attempting with what I could do and the time that I have uh, left. And the wedding planning, it's been difficult because I haven't been able to wedding plan because I've just been working a lot and haven't been able to go out and look at dresses. That's something that I'm gonna be doing like next week, the week after. So I might, I might upload that if you guys are still interested. What this kind of taught me about my channel, that um, firstly, uploading every day is a mission. It's a lot, it's, a, it's, it's too much, man. <laughs> no one needs to upload that much. It's a lot. Uh, and I, I, I can feel it's a lot. Like doing it, it's stressful. I would be going to sleep at like 2, 3 a.m. sometimes. Like I'm sure you guys noticed if you live in the UK, I was uploading at crazy times, like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., like weird hours. Um, and that meant that I didn't get to spend much time with Kyle and his his working hours were a bit funny. So like, I basically, he would go to bed at like 10 and I would be up for another five hours before I came to bed. And so that sucked a lot because he goes away for work sometimes and I don't get to see him often and I miss that time spending with him. So that was a bummer and that was a part of it I didn't enjoy. Um, but the part of it I did enjoy was making new content, making consistent content, um, interacting more with you guys, doing the live shows I did. I did a couple of live shows. Um, and yeah, just kind of getting to know you guys better and what you like and speaking more and kind of, you know, being able to answer more questions actively. And I try to respond to pretty much all the comments. If I haven't responded to you, I will respond um, to your comment. Um, I've been going through and trying to really kind of like connect because it's something I haven't been able to do when I've been inconsistent. And so this was a good time to really get to know people who are very, very frequent in watching my videos because um, a lot of you guys commented and were talking about like when we we were reflecting on the stuff and the past and when me and Carl met and stuff and it was kind of interesting to see who was watching way back then and so that was really cool actually getting to talk to you guys that was the best part I think about the whole experience um a part which is like neither here nor there for me about it was um figuring that number one I thought this would be a good challenge to do because I thought it could kind of um, move my channel into a new direction and what I wanted to do going forth and also it could kind of show people who weren't like active that this is the channel this is the way my channel's going if you want to stay and like watch along and you're still interested in a journey and then feel free to continue watching if not and then feel free to like obviously unsubscribe or um, do as you please with that information right and so I thought that would be cool to kind of um, not cool but I thought it would be useful it would be a useful time to see like obviously the people who leave who are just inactive subscribers and who just came for maybe I don't know they found me through my BTS video or um, other like really random videos to do with Korea maybe and they're like more interested in stuff in Korea and even though I talk about Korea from time to time and stuff related like Korean hip-hop I don't I'm not living in Korea so I'm not actively talking about teaching in Korea or anything like that and so the, a lot of those people unsubscribed and left however what that left me with I, a part that I hadn't factored in at all about the whole thing was that when those if those people left 
like what would happen to my channel um, on YouTube side of things and how that would look to YouTube's algorithm. I never thought about the algorithm. Obviously, I thought that would could be a good thing if some inactive subscribers did decide to leave um, because they would know going forward, this is what I'm doing. If they're up, up for it and they're still like interested in the journey and they want to see story times and my experiences of traveling in different other parts of the world and all the new things that are going to come, and that'd be great that they either decide to go somewhere else or they decide to stay. But I was, I was I've been watching a few videos about this because I've been curious and trying to figure it out. But yeah, so. I didn't think about the negative effect for the algorithm and the algorithm obviously sees that so the more people that unsubscribe it kind of maybe assumes that the channel is dying or is dead and um, it's not going to push any more videos out and doesn't promote that channel and this is this is what I've got from watching a lot of videos like the the, the theory behind it because no one really knows they just assume that like the algorithm's kind of grown its own mind and is doing its own thing so apparently a lot of people YouTube don't really understand it that much and they can't really do much to help um, about that but I haven't, I haven't contacted anyone yet or I'm, I don't think I will but we'll see how it goes um, after this challenge is over but yeah people unsubscribe so the algorithm thinks this channel is like people aren't interested in this channel something drastic has happened and that people are leaving so this channel it, it we shouldn't promote it and this is my understanding um and and then so um my newer videos will get less and less views and the more that there is the distance between like my highly viewed videos like um the bts video which gets loads of views um well, not loads but it gets consistent a lot of views um every month in comparison to the rest of my videos and the bigger that gap gets the the more negative that becomes for the algorithm to my channel and so and so the more I've gone along um, this 30 day challenge, the more I've realised like the gap is growing, like the views and stuff. And obviously I don't do this channel for views or for money because it's not like I don't make no money, not really any money from this channel. And I just do it because I enjoy it and I enjoy to like talk and connect with other people who are going through similar experiences or are interested in travelling or interested in things that are similar to me. So, but it's something that I noticed and it's something I'd heard about. Um, but never actually experienced so I thought it was something that just happens to big channels and something that just happens to people who are, um, who are like full-time youtubers and that it's something that could really affect other people but it's funny because my I haven't seen a big change in revenue but I've seen a big change in viewers in like my views and so that could be just because I'm uploading every day and it's just annoying because <laughs> I know how annoying it is to see someone upload like three times a day um I don't watch Oh shit, my phone's ringing. I'll be back. I'm back, sorry. So what does this mean for my channel going forward? It means that, um, yeah, I'm, as when this challenge is done, I'm gonna be taking a bit of a break. I'll still try and upload, but I will be taking a break from this channel. I, when I did, within the last um, year, I've tried to make this video quite a few times. This is not the first time I'm kind of filming this. I've made varying different types of videos that are kind of boiled down to the same thing about this video. Um, but like, I'm gonna take a break because I need to write and this challenge has kind of like stopped me from doing NaNoWriMo um, because I've just spent all my evenings like filming and uploading rather than writing, which is what I should be doing because obviously that is my, my passion, my love, and my my thing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I feel really guilty about that, and that hasn't been nice. This last few days, like this since November started, basically, it's just been I just been feeling really guilty for not writing. Um, and I have this story, and I love this idea, and I think it's going to be great if I can actually write it. <laughs> so after this, I'm taking so tomorrow I will be taking a massive break. Um, from my channel and this is a bad time on YouTube right now it always is towards the end of the year views go down people are struggling people have all, all sorts, kinds of issues that happen and this is usually when I'm not really here and active on the channel um, especially because I'm doing NaNoWriMo usually or I'm away for Christmas and so I don't really film a lot except for when I do um, vlogmas so and I haven't done that in a while so I haven't really experienced the craziness that happens in this time of year and I know a lot of people are talking about it now on YouTube and people are getting frustrated with it and I don't want it to frustrate me so I'm definitely taking a step back I will try and upload um, when I have things to upload that's what it's taught me it's taught me that I don't have to upload every day and uploading every day is not it's not a thing that I think 
it benefits my channel, it's not a thing I think benefits me personally. Um, I did want to see what it would be like to upload consistently and every day, um, but no, this is not, I don't think it's for me or my channel um, or for us, like me and you. So I will be going back to a bit more of a relaxed schedule and I'll be taking a break, um, enjoying life a little bit more, not spending all my time editing and thinking more about where I do want to take it. I do realise I like doing story times, I do like sharing my experiences and that's something I don't want to change because that's why this started. I did want to show my um, share my experiences with you guys and where I went, the things I did and the people I met and how people perceived all of that and so I want to keep that going. I like vlogging, I don't know if I will be able to vlog as much because I just I just, it's crazy. When something happens, I have friends coming, so maybe I'll be able to vlog more because I'll be consistently around other people. But work-wise, like my schedule's funny, car schedule's funny, so it, it's it's hard for us to be, like the time we have together, I just kind of want to cherish that moment than be vlogging it, you know? So there's that. I think I'm gonna be focusing a bit more on my writing channel as well because it's writing is my passion and I've been con trying to figure out here what I want to do and how I can niche down, niche down they like to call it, on what I'm doing but I just, I just don't see like this channel and where it could go and if it is, if it is um, worth the effort that is put into it I think I mean, I shouldn't say that, of course it's worth it, it's it's something I'm going to look back on, it's a little diary of my life and I think that is nice and I think that is cool, um, but I don't know if this is something that I will continue doing forever, um, eventually I will have to stop doing this I guess, um, because yeah, it's just, I don't know, I, it just feels like it's not, it's not what it used to be and I don't think it ever will be and I think a lot of people here for so many different reasons that it's too hard to figure out the best kind of content to fit everyone. There's no way I can't please everyone and I don't know what the majority wants. It's very hard to know. So please take that poll up there and let me know um, what content you like. And at the end of the day, I would love to make content that I enjoy making. So I'll keep doing the stuff that I enjoy making and if there is one specific type of content that is requested by everyone, I will add that one into all the stuff I love. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna move over to my writing channel. If you wanna follow me over there, I'll be over at my writing channel. Um, it's NaNoWriMo, so I'm gonna be doing writing updates as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna have to try and catch up on writing my book. I'm only, you don't even know how many words I have, I'm not even gonna tell you because it's, it's bad. It's really bad. And so I, I literally have to just sit down right now and write a lot of words, like thousands. So, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> attempt and finally um, I thank you to everyone who picked up some of my like artsy soul and career merch that I did uh, this is the end of that after the next few runs I think after the next run or two I'm gonna be stopping that and I did want to do it for a limited time and um, I should have probably explained that more at the beginning when I first did my video I didn't I didn't know how long I wanted to do it for but it's a limited run um, and it will be ending before like maybe in the middle of the month maybe earlier so yeah if you'd like a piece go ahead and get it if not that's okay too um, but thank you to everyone supporting me and yeah Yes, I, I got my jumper, <laughs> it's here. I will show you guys it. And I do think I should have sized up in this. The size is okay, but I really like my jumpers really big. Like I like them like extremely big. This is the map of Korea. Um, and I was really curious to see how they would do it on the jumper. And it's actually embedded, embedded, is that a word? Into the material. Um, so it's like, what's the word? I don't know how to explain it. It's in the material, it's not a print, it's not on top of it, which is really nice because I always get worried when it's on it, it can peel off and I don't like that idea. Um, so I was really I was really scared about what it was gonna be like, but it's like this long, long jumper. But I feel like it would be so much nicer if it was a large. This is a medium and it fits me perfectly, but I really want it bigger because I just really love my jumpers oversized. And that's like, that's my bab. Here we go, now you can see it better. I think it came out really nice. I wished it was a little bit higher. On the thingy, it looks, because the jumper's so long, um, it looks like it's higher up, but it's not. Like, on me, it sits here. Um, but, yeah, if it was just, like, a bit higher, I think here, 
would be nice. So if I do make another one on Teespring, I would definitely make the print higher. I do have some ideas. I've been thinking about some like African stuff and I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I might just move over to Etsy. I thought it'd be nice to kind of test out what this would all be like. And I think that it was a cool like little test run. But I do think I want to go into like selling art and other like stuff off of the YouTube sphere of things. But yeah, so there's that. <laughs> and yeah, so this will be done um, soon. And that's it really. The channel is, I don't know, I feel like it's coming towards a close. I don't want to say that, but like it feels like it. Um, it feels like it for me right now and I'm gonna see how things go for the next few months obviously after after I stop daily uploading but if yeah if things don't go back to normal it might just be that that's that and the channel's kind of like it's done it's it's run its course every not everything's forever <laughs> it's not by force <laughs> as my mom would say not really my mom doesn't really say that but yeah <laughs> any other African mom says that my mom used to say that but um that's it for now and thank you guys for joining this journey to all of you guys who are watching thank you very much and to everyone who has supported along these last six years seven years thank you to you guys too you guys are awesome it's been fun i i will be here from time to time but it's looking like i'm taking a bit of a step back for a while to let things settle down and then we'll see how i go um yeah maybe i'll come up with some other new idea for what I want to do for the channel. Until then, watch this space. Um, I will see you guys hopefully soon. If not, then there's that. But yes, happy 30 days. I made it. Okay, I didn't upload every day, but I made it. <laughs> I, mean, I uploaded like almost every day. I think I missed three days um, because I just fell asleep while editing and I couldn't catch up. That happened like three times. I literally passed out because I was so tired. I woke up at 4 a.m. and my back was like hurting. I was on the sofa and I had to go to bed and I had to go to work and oh man, it was, it was, it was horrible. But um, other than that, it was fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the future. Until then, annyeong.